really making major additions to this account until you retire the middle school debt. Then you've got a significant chunk of change, and it's within striking distance. I think it's three years. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, in three years, you can start doing the kinds of things you're saying. You can be preventative. But until that point in time, in this economic climate, to go to the public and ask them to start funding reserve accounts, um, I don't think that's wise. You know, when the checking account's overdrawn, you don't put money into the savings account. Well, I think that's a debate for a later time we'll all have. But Mary, you can keep shaking ahead of me, and I'll debate it with somebody else. <laughs> all right. Yeah. When we get the revenues, we'll have that. I'll look forward yeah. to that debate. Well, the revenues is how much you ask and how much they approve. So. But we'll leave it. I'll leave it. Any other questions for Greg? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that, I believe this is a good segue into athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, some athletics. <laughs> I don't hear some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff is concerned with the people on the, on the floor. On the floor. <laughs> Not sitting on the bleachers. Uh, so questions for Jeff. No questions on the athletic budget. In case somebody um, put a note, that his budget is something that our, our superintendent said earlier, but in case somebody turned in later, it's actually this, a flat budget except for we're finally paying for something I think we should have, which is a train or the, I don't know it's full-time trainer, it's a trainer. So I, I, I think that's Again, very much consistent with fiscal prudency, and uh, quite frankly, we're able to get there because of, um, in a lot, large part, because of our booster clubs and the fees we charge and other things. That, that's a different issue. For a different if I'm not mistaken, we're, we're, we're actually budgeting for a trainer we've been paying for already. Yes. So the, the trainer is new to the budget, but not new to the expenditure side. That's right. Yeah, we've been over that line. Over. We've been over expending on that line. So we've taken out of some fund somewhere. Oh, that, that's a good point to know. Thank you. Yeah, that, but that line item uh, for the past few years has been about $14,000. And the additional 9000 would put us to about where we have been spending the past two or three years. Right. And it also aligns us with what some of our neighboring communities are spending as well. It's be anywhere between thirty dollars and $20,000. And I was impressed that that trainer treats, you told us, 1,500 injuries a year. 1,500 a year. That's um, you know, 270 students, of our students, each season. Um, that doesn't include when opposing teams are visiting us. Do, don't we have the responsibility as a home team to provide the trainers, to provide the medical assistance? Um, it's not necessarily a responsibility, but it's uh, something that a lot of our schools in Southern Maine have okay. gone to. Questions? No? Well, one question. Do concussions go under health services now and not um, any concussion testing? You know, that follow-up work is health services and not athletics? Not necessarily, actually. I think that's a Another good point to that athletic trainer, the relationship between the school nurse, um, and I think a lot has to do with a lot of this concussion information that's come out in a lot of our education, a lot of our proactive work we've done. That relationship between the school nurse now and, a, and the trainer has just improved immensely, and they're really working together, um, whether it be providing the baseline or um, doing the follow-up with Dr. Hines and um, allowing students to get back onto the athletic fields. So it's not necessarily, necessarily just the nurse, it's, it's uh, cooperative. So the uh, money's just like we've um, been already spending the money on the trainer, are we spending, are we, we have enough money in the, these line items to cover the concussion work that's... Um, that, would in, <coughs> that would include what we're, where we are with the total hours and, and expenses. And are parents asking more for it since we've had the train, this, um, the speaker came a few years ago, two years ago now, one year ago, to educate people about concussions 
Is it? I think it's a number of things, you know, just through um, media and just the recent information that's come out with um, the severity of the concussion and um, I think that's had a piece as well, but just the education is... So we're taking care of it, Ken, okay, we've got, we're all over it. We've got enough money everywhere to cover. Um, I think so. Yeah. Middle school as well? Yeah. Other questions on the athletic budget? So, um, if we, we have a little time, I might ask that we circle back to health services. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that was an area where we had an open question, which you and thank you, you provided us an answer for. Uh, so we did. I had left that as no tentative agreement yet on the health services budget, and we could get an answer to the question on the equipment line, uh, which is to purchase replacement batteries, for the AED machines, and a wheelchair for each school. The batteries are ended at the end of their life expectancy, and the wheelchairs available at each school are, are in bad shape. So that's what that equipment line was. Do, do, does anyone have questions about the health budget? Thank you for the yeah, so we'll, information. We'll, we'll mark tentative agreement on that. For the narrative as well. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. 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 I think we can move into a business meeting and um, do we want to take a break? So, I mean, does anybody need to leave? No. Is here for budget? I mean, it should be fairly quick. Um, so, um, we have a special business agenda of two items. Does everyone have their, um, their agenda? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, tonight, what we'll be doing is, is we will be. Um, Approving the asbestos yeah. removal. We were going to the workshop. Oh, you're right. Should we do that? First? Yeah, let's do that first. I'm sorry. sorry to no, that's right. It's. Um, do you want to? Do you want to introduce that since you're finance chair? Sure. So, we have a. We need have a. Um, we'd like to reschedule the next budget workshop due to a conflict involved in the superintendent search. Um, and so we're hoping, we have a tentative, uh, a proposal for a, a workshop either on this Thursday evening or on Friday, is that correct? Stay during the day or Thursday during the day or Thursday during the evening or Monday during the day. Okay, so how, how do we want to Try to get agreement. Oh, well, can we just discuss it? Sure. I would prefer Monday because just the amount of work I have to do in preparation for that. I, I do need some extra time giving other responsibilities. This is the last one where we try to reconcile contingency funds and all the other no, issues. No, this, this is the next workshop in which we would take up the, the next three items, which are salaries. Um, Three-year plan, and I guess a three-year plan is what I would think would take the most time. And I'm just personally, I've, I've been doing some work on it, and I would like, I, I personally would. It's replacing it. next Tuesday's workshop, not right. next Thursday's workshop. So. Uh, and how you confuse me? It's replacing next Thursday's workshop. That's the day that we need to focus on the superintendent search, the 24th. So we're moving it up. So we're moving it up. Oh, so, so we will have a workshop on next Tuesday. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. That would be the last one. That would be the last okay. one. So it is replacing Tuesday's workshop. That's right. And then we'll have Thursday's workshop on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the 17th would <laughs> I lost that one. I'm sorry. I can't do Monday night. So, if it's so we have a, the current schedule is we have a, a workshop scheduled for next Tuesday yep, and Thursday. Yep. Okay, and the proposal is that we 
we have our next workshop uh, before next Tuesday and the final workshop on next Tuesday. Well, my question would be then, what is it we're going to consider on Monday? What is it we're going to consider on That's Tuesday? Our option dates. On, on, in our next workshop, we, we will be considering the next three line items, which are staffing, the three-year plan, and any other unfinished line, line items. So that's and on the following one, it's about it's the, uh, the board adaptation of the budget. Adoption or adaptation? I think it's adoption. Adoption. Okay. Just so it's curious to me there was this thing I hadn't heard of before. Um, well, my, my preference would be just given my own personal time schedule and commitment to work and other places. I'm becoming more comfortable in working with Pauline and some other people about three years. Possibly. But by the way, we're going to be able to... Monday doesn't give us a lot of time until Tuesday. I know. It doesn't give us a lot of time between meetings. That's my concern about Monday. So... Uh, I guess. Well, are we going to see it? My understanding was the superintendent was going to propose a three-year plan, or am I wrong? The superintendent has a three-year plan, and it will go out tomorrow morning. So you can have it tomorrow, and we can meet Thursday night, Thursday afternoon, Friday. It sounds like we keep that superintendent search focused. Okay. I, I guess I'd like to propose Friday during the day to give us a little more time before our last. That's fine. Did you say you can't make Monday, Mary? Because that's important. I can't make Monday night. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I, I would prefer the latest possible time we could do it so we can analyze the three-year plan and what, what you're proposing. Okay. So how, how about, about Friday? About 3, 3 p.m. on Friday. Uh, I can't do Friday. But you're leaving town, aren't you? Yeah. Um, any, you can't do any time Friday during the day? So that leaves us with Thursday evening? All day Monday that you're gone or just Monday night? Just Monday evening. I could we do it Monday, Monday during the day? Were you concerned about the tight time frame between Monday Yeah, we could try to do it 9 a.m. on Monday. Yeah. Okay. And do we all need to be here on Monday? You can't be here 9 a.m. Um, I, I would just... We could do it 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Monday afternoon. I don't know what the... 11 o'clock. Anyone can do that con conflicts yeah. like. Yeah. I know how you we're get so in. booked. I mean, we're. I mean, well, you? I can try to get out of it. I don't need to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. Yeah. Principles, though. We will need. We will need. It is the salary portion of. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, so, 1 p.m. on Monday? Kate, does that make you available? It does. Um, like I said, the John Memorial's Are you available, Mike? Uh, would Michael? you like to? Can you do 1 p.m. Monday? Ah, uh, yes. I, I can do 1 p.m. Monday. Okay. okay. Yeah. What about the, do we, yeah. I mean, the salaries, what about the DLT? I, have, uh, I can do 1 p.m. Monday. I have a faculty meeting at 2.40. If need be, Troy could cover that for me. But. I actually can, yeah. I, I have to move by like 2.15, 2.00. 30. Can you do 12 30? We're not going to do it necessarily get everybody. 12 30? Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 12 30 on Monday. Here? Mm -hmm. Unless Here. you hear it differently. <coughs> Unless you hear it differently. Okay. okay. Um, and Excuse me. Tuesday is still on? Tuesday is yes. still on, and that will be the last workshop. And, and Thursday. I Okay, you yep. got it. I'm changing. All right. Well, that's, they, so we are still having on Thursday. During the day, probably. Oh, during the day? Four. Yeah, it's going to, I can't say. Okay, now I know. Thursday the 24th. During the day. That's no. the search event, right? That's well, not a budget can, event. There's no, we no can, budget event on Thursday. Correct. We can mention that it's a search event. That's not the Filing the confidentiality. It's recorded during that time. Yeah. Fascinating TV. <laughs> watching I'm just confirming that. Yeah. Uh, Must see TV. <laughs> Scheduling meetings. So, it's always like this. <laughs> um, it, I do need yep. to speak with both of you about your availability then on Thursday. Cause mm -hmm. I, I want you, Mary, um, if, if you can. I'm easy. I'm sorry. 
We know that about you, Jen. Okay, so we, I think the scheduling portion of this meeting is it's done. done.